The Art of Fortune Telling The courtiers in the court of King Akbar were very jealous of Birbal's favored position. They tried several times to trick Birbal and get him in the bad books of King Akbar. This time too they had a plan. When Birbal was not in the court, Jahanpana, we have observed that Birbal has not been paying attention to his work at court. He is busy learning the art of fortune telling and other related magic. We are fed up with his arrogance that he can do anything with his magic power. King Akbar knew that this was some kind of a trick to get Birbal into trouble. He played along to see how Birbal would get out of this. As Birbal arrived at the court, Birbal, I have lost my ruby ring a few minutes back. Can you with your magic look at the ring for me? Yes, Jahanpana. You will see that the ring will automatically reach your finger. Birbal took a piece of paper and drew some abstract lines on it. He then asked King Akbar to place his finger of which he had lost the finger ring. Birbal then took some grains of rice and murmured a mantra and threw it on the courtiers. One of the courtiers was scared. He thought that the ring might leave his pocket just like how Birbal had said it would. So he held on to it tightly. Birbal spotted the courtier clutching his pocket. Jahan pana, I have found the ring. It is in this courtier's pocket. The courtiers realized that they had been tricked. King Akbar had given the ring to the courtier to hide, but the nervous reaction of the courtier had given him away. King Akbar praised Birbal for his intelligence and gifted him the same ring.